At the Oakland Coliseum, under the Californian sun, a German centre forward kicks off the first professional soccer season in North America. There are no Americans on the field except the referee. The visitors, the Philadelphia Phantoms in white, are fielding five Germans. Their hosts, the California Clippers, have five Yugoslavs and three British players. Roy Lunnis from Luton, Barry Rowan from Millwall, Mel Scott from Brentford. There are two leagues covering a total of 22 clubs, three in Canada. This league, starting first, has a television contract. The other league has international recognition. They need to get together. There are two possible difficulties. The heat of the American summer and empty stands. For the moment, the crowd looks sparse and puzzled. There's no reason why they shouldn't like the game. A few hundred miles away in Latin America, it's a consuming passion. But in this small, plush stadium, they're used to a kind of football which produces higher scoring and more bodily contact. In fact, in American football, which is more like rugger, the players wear crash helmets and shoulder padding. Perhaps in the end, that'll be the American contribution to soccer. Bye.